I'm Ralph and I am a singer-songwriter here in Toronto. I've been doing music for a really long time. I went to an arts school in Toronto. I don't think that I would be performing if I hadn't gone there as a terrified teen and learned how to perform on stage. I'm sick of talking, just get in my radius. If you wanna make the distance simple, we could just meet up in the middle. That's, I think, like a super special thing about Toronto is that when you've lived here your entire life, you know so many people who wanna be a part and just wanna like help and see their friends grow and succeed. So there's a lot of like love and, and, and like support in this city that has really been monumental in getting to where I am now. I guess today we're gonna take a little stroll and visit some of my favorite places. As someone who is very interested in fashion and constantly has new outfits or tries to, I'm very good at thrifting. So there's a couple places that are my top spots. I love thrifting because you can find these one-offs, right? Like, this isn't Zara. No one else is gonna have this. Ooh, it's kind of fun. I will say that I have recently acknowledged I have a problem with gray hoodies. Harley Davidson sweatpant. Obviously, if we're traveling for music, I'll like have my outfits all figured out. Because when you're rushing, all of a sudden, all clarity goes out the window, and then you're like, I hate all my clothes. Not everyone's gonna like or appreciate your style. But that's fine, you know? I'm sure there's tons of people who are like, what the f are you wearing? I don't mean for my songs to be relationship-based, but I think that most of them are because relationships shape our lives. But yeah, if I wasn't writing songs about how I felt, I think I might explode. It's just super, like the healthiest thing I can do to, to deal with anything. Right now, Toronto is like a place to watch with music. And like in the last couple years, there have been so many wicked artists who have like blown up. And I think that there's a lot of eyes on Toronto right now because there's a lot of artists who are like under the radar and all these, you know, labels want to like be the ones to discover these new young artists. So I think that it's so hugely beneficial for us because we just get a lot more opportunities and there's just a lot more attention. Like people are like, oh, you're from Toronto? Amazing. This is like, if I ever need like songwriting inspiration, I just come here. Yeah, I find I get a lot of good inspiration being outside and being surrounded by people. Really nice to just have days when you just like hang out with yourself. Cause you get kind of exhausted when you're outputting a lot as an artist, I think. You need to have those like recharge moments. So yeah, parks are good for that. Like, it's, I don't like it, it, it makes me feel weird. Yeah, tell us, can you tell us about it? <laughs> okay, this is like a Toronto legend. Um, this is like the albino squirrel. I've never seen it myself. So this is a, this is a, a moment. <laughs> so glad you guys saw it, because I've never seen it. Oh my God, like, I just feel like we're having this weird, right? <laughs> I'm doing a show tonight, which is a fundraiser. So we are here at the Gladstone Hotel. The event that um, I'm singing at tonight is a fundraiser. It's called Raise Your Voice. It's essentially kind of uh, partnering with several organizations to use music as a positive way of dealing with sexual assault and violence against women, which is something that I feel very strongly about. It's cool how music can be therapeutic in many ways. It's nice to feel as though you could be like adding some joy to a challenging situation. Toronto, it has like a really cool arts community, fashion, music, film, a really cool like visual arts and dance community too. An interesting landscape, that's pretty special. Mm -hmm. 